What's going on, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Crypto Insight. My name is Joe. In today's show, we're going to check out the farm and see how much we're earning per day. If you haven't seen our part one build of our 50 cell phone mining farm, I highly suggest you go back and watch that one first. I will put the link down below this video. I show how I set up all the power strips as well as setting up the phones from start to finish. We're also going to answer some questions I've been getting over the last week since I put out my last CryptoTab video. We're also going to pick a winner for Monday's $10 Bitcoin giveaway, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video to see if you won. If you want to participate in our weekly Bitcoin giveaways, they take place every Monday and Thursday, and the winner is always randomly chosen and announced at the end of each video. All of my referral links are below this video, including my CryptoTab Pro link, as well as some other links to earn some free Bitcoin if anyone's interested. I really appreciate the continued support. The channel is growing at a crazy rate, and I just can't thank you all enough. So we're going to take a look at the farm here real quick. As you guys can see, we got all the phones. we got all the tablets, all mining. Let's see here. I do have them all on times one. Sorry if it's a little hard to see, guys. It uh, gets a little difficult to see here, but we do got them all hashing away, and we're going to touch on some questions, like I said, that we've been getting throughout the week here. So I know that I covered this in my last video, but I'm still getting a lot of questions about how many phones you can have on each account and if Cloud Boost is even worth it. So I want to spend some time going over that again. With the new algorithm update, it doesn't matter how many phones you have on each account. The earnings will be the same. On CryptoTab's website, it does say that you can have multiple phones on each account. But through tests and talking with people in the community, we have found that it doesn't make a difference how many phones you have. With that being said, that means Cloud Boost is not worth it on any level because you're unable to stack phones on a single account anymore. Now, when I say this, if you connect one phone or you connect five phones to the same account, you will earn the same amount. So the new best strategy to earn the most out of CryptoTab is to have each phone on their own account. And I just want to clarify because this is another common question. It's not cheating or against their rules to have multiple devices per IP address. There's no limit. You can have as many accounts as you want per IP address. So, and another thing that goes along with that is, as everyone keeps asking, is if you purchase CryptoTab Pro, do you have to purchase it again for each phone? No, this doesn't mean you have to purchase CryptoTab Pro for each phone. All you have to do is sign into the same Gmail that you purchased CryptoTab Pro on, and you'll be able to download it without purchasing it again. Super easy. Now, let's get into the earnings. So, one of the most common questions I get is how much is my farm earning per day and how much am I earning per phone? This is a really hard question to answer because I have so many different types of phone phones, but a majority of the phone, the cheaper Android phones that I have do earn between 180 and 200 Satoshis per day. If you do the math on that, it comes out to 10 to 13 cents per phone per day. And that's these ones. I've covered that in a lot of my last videos, the Blade Vantages, the TCLs A1, and stuff like that. Now these other phones, like the Galaxy S10 and the tablets, they do earn closer to 50 cents to $1.25 a day. So if you can get your hands on these more expensive devices, in my opinion, they are the best to use. Just always remember that you do get what you pay for. So always make sure that you weigh your pros and your cons. If you want to spend 20 bucks on a cheap phone or you want to spend a couple hundred dollars on an expensive device. Now, I have been asked when you're ready to withdraw, can you withdraw to the same Bitcoin wallet address from multiple CryptoTab accounts? The answer is yes. Having multiple accounts is not considered cheating. And talking about withdrawing, that actually leads me into my next question that I get asked all the time. What wallets do I recommend and where do I withdraw my coins to? So I always use Gemini.com. And if you're been around my channel any length of time, you will know this. I talk about it all the time. I use Gemini and I also use Ledger hardware wallets. So anytime I go to move my coins off of Gemini or off of another exchange, I always do put them into cold storage. So those are the ones I like to use. Now, if you do use my link down below and you sign up for Gemini and you buy or sell $100 worth of cryptocurrency, they are giving $10 for free to me and you. So I appreciate anybody who's willing to go through the sign up process and use my link. Another really important question I get asked all the time is why do I leave my screens on all the time and do you need to leave your screens on all the time? The answer to that is no. The app will run in the background. However, you do need to open the app and reactivate mining every three hours. This is really just my preference to leave my phone screens on all the time because of how many I have to hit. Take my word for it, unlocking 50 phones is a giant pain and it almost makes it not worth it. But it is worth it. So I just leave them all on and I'm able to click them every three hours. Like I said, you do not have to do this. 
I know a lot of you guys have messaged me saying that I should probably not do this, but like I said, when you have 50 phones, it's really difficult to unlock and then relock the screen and everything every three hours. One of the last things I'd like to talk about is using of third-party apps. This is a question that comes up below every single one of my CryptoTab videos because I have 50 phones and there's always people that are always suggesting I use an auto clicker. Whether it's using an auto clicker or using multi-window or extracting the APK file, these are all considered cheating and you will get banned for using these. It's not a matter of if you get banned, but it's a matter of when you will get banned. I talk with dozens of people every week who cannot withdraw their $20, $30, $40 dollars worth of Bitcoin and it keeps getting rejected. And when they reach out to CryptoTab to ask why, CryptoTab will email you back and explain to you that you're account has been using a third party app and for that your email is now banned. It doesn't matter if it, if you consider this cheating or not. It they consider it cheating. It is in their terms and conditions that you agree to when you download and start using the app. So please do your own research and make sure that you want to risk it before you go ahead and do it. I do not recommend anybody doing it. Getting a little bit of bitcoin out of this app is better than getting no bitcoin out of this app. But Starting next week, we're going to go over some earnings on some phones that are more expensive and that typically have higher hash rates. We're going to try and prove if buying more expensive phones really do mean that you're going to have higher hash rates and earn more money. And when I say earn more money, I know that it earns more money, but is it worth it compared to like a $20 phone and how much you earn on that? So that's what we're going to be going over in next week's video. This doesn't mean that we're not going to be checking in on the mining farm from time to time. I know you guys are all interested and I will be showing this off pretty frequently. With that being said, everyone, we're going to end this video and we're going to head on over to the comment randomizer and choose a winner from Monday's video. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe below this video to be entered into our giveaway that will be announced on Monday. I will see you guys over there. All right, everyone, it's giveaway time. Good luck to everyone who got entered, and if you didn't get entered in this giveaway, make sure you subscribe to the channel and you comment your Bitcoin wallet address down below, and you come back on Monday to see if you won and to enter into our next giveaway. Good luck to everyone, and here we go. All right, so you are our winner. You should receive your Bitcoin within the next few hours. Congratulations. And everyone else who didn't win, please make sure you come back. We give away Bitcoin multiple times a week here, and we are getting ready to actually raise the limit that we do give out every week because the channel is growing at such a crazy rate. So I will see you guys all on Monday to pick the next winner. Peace.